Chicago. Do you think she's just announced? She'd come up with all kinds of yes. reasons why she was going to Chicago. Plus, she's still at the the bullpen phase. She's not calling out to the mound yet. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's Bill. He's 34. Bill? Hey. Hey, Bill. What's going on? Uh, not a whole lot, man. How you doing? Good. What's up? Good. Uh, I was just calling to say, man, uh, I got a weird fetish, man. Go ahead. And uh, I don't know if you can maybe tell me if it comes from my childhood. Probably does. That's, well, that's when I was a kid, man, I used to get molested a lot at uh, the local Southern Baptist Church down here in Texas. That's nice. Well, that'll that'll mess you up. I love Texas. And, uh, no, anyway, whoa, whoa. it's not Texas. They used to have these confessions. Yeah. And uh, one of the things they do when they take you into this room to confess to this uh, preacher, uh, this guy would sit there and he'd he'd go down on me and oh. tell me he was cleansing. You know, he'd ask me if I was masturbating first. Oh, they knew cleansing my. My Peter, you know, for God. Yeah, he's uh, like like the way it's sort of a dog cleanses himself, right? Well, I guess. Nice. All, All right. Anyway, well, I'm so this guy is into this thing where uh, this guy's going to rot in hell. Yeah. You go to prostitutes. Yeah, are you so you're sort of a sexual compulsive now, right? Yeah. I've is that all you do? Is just go to prostitutes? prostitutes and uh, I'm kind of into the bondage thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, after I get them tied up and uh, bound and. And I get them blindfolded. I try to defecate in their vagina. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, seriously. Really? I do, when you come, really? I'm it's sorry. It's like a turn on for me to try to do it. I mean, I haven't been successful, like, you know, maybe more than once. But, I mean, I, it's like a turn on for me to try to do it. Wait a minute. I, I'm sorry. Just because I want to make sure I'm hearing this right. Defecate. As in dump. As in taking a poo. Poo. Poo, oh. poo in, the, in the poo now. Well, Bill, let me say this. I know prostitutes, and I know <laughs> that's going to require one hell of a tip. Yeah, that's going to That's kind of thing to be tip pricey. On. That's extra money right there. But it isn't it interesting, though? And, and then Bill sounds like a rational man, and yeah. he, he knows there's something wrong with this. But when that wiring gets screwed up by trauma in childhood, when people are sexualized in inappropriate ways and before their brains can handle it, the wiring just gets set. And rationality no longer has anything to do with the behaviors. The behaviors well, are just Drew, these this, this, ain't, this ain't wiring. This is plumbing. <laughs> hey, hey, Bill? Well, <laughs> and now, Bill, all I can tell you is I kind of know it's let, a little bit. Do they let you tie things, them up? But uh, it's just like, you know, and I tell myself, well, that's kind of disgusting. Don't, don't bother trying to do that. But then when I get worked up, man, I can't control it. It's the wrong. Idea. It's because it's wrong that it turns you on. <laughs> is, how, do, how do you feel? If, how, how does this make you feel? It feels like uh, electricity is flowing through my body. <clears throat> just super sexual. It's almost sexual. like I'm on the verge of an orgasm. Yeah. Is it empowering uh, like for you? This heavy feeling hits me almost like uh, like you've been staring at you know your naked partner for a while and just holding back from doing it, and then it's just like you want to relieve the uh, anxiety. There's a lot of, of sort of feelings behind this that you're going to have difficulty getting at. Because of the traumas, uh, this, this this is the way these traumas are sort of being expressed now. Unless you get involved in some kind of treatment where this stuff is brought out and worked through, you know, I, I think you ought to give yourself that, or else it's going to you have difficulty having real relationships. You're going to have difficulty being gratified sexual without these sexually without these weird fetishes. And well, it's, wait it's, a minute. Let me let me ask him a couple of questions. Do these these women you tie up? Do they agree to be tied up? Yeah, I pay them to let me put them in bondage, but... <clears throat> and then uh, what happens when you uh, pull out the uh, assinator on them halfway <laughs> into it? What do they yeah, say I about that? Them about that. It's just something that I try, and then, I mean... Do they, do they object, or do they just say it's going to cost you? Well, they don't know because they're, they, I mean, for the most part, they're blindfolded. They because what I'm doing exactly because I do a little bit of fornication first and then I, I mean, they're blindfolded. See? Mm. Yeah, but not then what, hap- what happens uh, when the uh, cat gets out of the bag, as it were? <laughs> well, they get really pissed off. I mean, and I've had a few of them, you, you know, think? Uh, tell me they're going to have their pimps come after me. Oh, wow. Well. No, yeah, no. I, I would. Be I would imagine. It, where what? do you do this at a ho- motel or something? Yeah, I mean it's just in Dallas on Harry Hines Boulevard. They're everywhere. Bill, Bill there, there, are, there are treatments for this, and that's one of the things about sexual compulsivity is that if the if, other thing is, is I can't. Hold I mean, on a second. Serious, I can't hardly pass a church or even be around a church without getting an erection, and then I don't know why. What else did they do to you? Oh, Dan? Hold on, hold on a second, Drew. I'm, I'm Wait a Bill second a for a second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't find it uh, ironic that this goes down on Harry Hines Boulevard? Yeah, 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 I know. 
I put him on hold. Passing, uh, passing the church and getting an erection. Yeah. That doesn't make much. I got, I got a question. Starting to sound a little fishy. Yeah, yeah. It, it absolutely is. I wonder Scary if he actually times. has someone in his life who he is allowed to do this to. And Adam, I know you're probably thinking about this question about yourself. Is do you think that he eats different things for different girls? What? Sure, sure. He'll eat caviar if it's a high priced hooker. You know, and he'll go to Arby's if it's just some streetwalker. <laughs> oh, this is this is that theory again that uh, of course, this is like pineapple juice in your semen, right? <laughs> oh, that so does not work, man. Listen, I don't <laughs> care. You you could eat a lumberjack stack of pumpkin <laughs> pancakes with nothing but whipped cream on it and drink drink liquefied butter, and I would not be happy if it defecated <laughs> on my <laughs> vagina, and I barely have a vagina. <laughs> You know, I blame Ron for these shows. <laughs> I do too. It, 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 this kind of stuff only happens when he's around. Well, listen, not only not only these shows, all shows that we do that go. To <laughs> yeah, they're all Ron's fault. Really, I think it's him calling some of the time. <laughs> all right, so, so funny. Drew, tell Bill he's got to get some professional help. Yeah, I wonder if it's and, not bogus. And, yeah, I wonder if it's bogus. Yeah. But there are people that do amazingly bizarre things, Weird. and the history that he gave wasn't quite. The degree of trauma that we normally see for the kinds of behaviors that he's talking about, and uh, the, all the other stuff that went with it, was sort of beginning to sound bogus. But well, listen, if, if, if in fact he was molested by the priest, as he says he was, he needs to get he needs to get help, help. And help yeah. for that's that. right. People will hurt themselves or someone else with these compulsions eventually, and and again, it keeps you away from real feelings and real emotions. That's the whole reason for fetishes. I wonder if he even ever told anybody. I mean, like the. I mean, because it sounds. sounds you bogus. really, yeah, it sounds bogus yeah, it sounds because bogus. it doesn't. So he he didn't mention anything about therapy people, or any of that. But there are nice. people that have these things. He he didn't but, give us the usual feeling, Adam. Yeah, though, someone with that kind of history, you know what I mean? Right. But do you guys? You guys think I couldn't operate under that kind of pressure with the hooker tied up? Like, you know, I think I'd choke. I really would choke. I, I, would it be called yeah. choking? Well, then? I don't know, but <laughs> I, I tell you something. If, if I'm paying for something like that, I don't want it tied up. Yeah, but but just the whole defecation thing on command. Like I, I can barely, I can yeah, barely command pinch and, one and at the uh, on target. Yeah, <laughs> target and command, Adam. Come on, that's Drew, pretty you, weird. You can't though. even uh, you can't People even crap at it. the airport, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Too much foot traffic. <laughs> Get a little stage fright. Can't you know what? We should send this guy. I just got back from USO tour. We should send this guy over to like Sarajevo or Bosnia, where they don't actually have toilets. It's just a big hole, and that's the restroom. You know, nice. It would be like I, I guarantee you, this would probably turn this guy on. All right. Just oh, yeah. crapping over a hole. This is get, we, 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 <laughs> so, we got. We got it. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. We got to pull out of this. We'll be right yeah. back. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>